Okay, so we're on our way to talk to the Baron about his family, just because it's closer. And then we'll go find Tamara. Um, for all we know, maybe, maybe the Baron knows what's up. Maybe he knows something. I don't know. So. We'll figure that out. Gosh, it takes forever. Damn it. Horse. And your stamina. What? Me? You talking to me? Are you for reals, dude? What's your deal? Um, yeah, what's your deal? Halt! Stand in Jew! I challenge you! What? Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Rondvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. <laughs> to honor Maid Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste, for I have 99 left after you. Oh my gosh. I'm the first? Why do you want to fight me? Why me? I mean, look at me. Hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry. Well, why? Um, then swear. Swear! Maid Bilbury's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah! I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend. Stand and fight. Are you for reals, dude? Really? You're really gonna fight me? All right. You know, I yield. <laughs> I mean, had enough. <laughs> yes. Look stood with you. But but the next time we meet. Yeah, just get out of here. Go back to Maid Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Okay. That'll be uh fun stuff. Can can you not bug Oh hey, yo. I just don't want you near my horse, bro. Oh, you how do you like it? Jeez, oh, what a jerk. You're fine. Let's go. Oh, for frickin' sake. Come on. Get over here. Should have had him fight those guys. Okay, get on. Anyway, um, I actually do hope we'll be seeing that guy again. The fool. Alright. And off we go. Oh, here we are. Back in the castle. Let's go talk to the Baron. Dun 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 dun. Right. Sun. What? That was weird. Witcher. A word, please. Yeah, sure. What's up? Yeah, I got time, I guess. What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Huh. Well. Okay. How you holding up, buddy? Doing okay? There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. 
Anna had read some story, insisted on having them, spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, were called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Yeah. Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. If you say so. Well, the sun, you're in the shade. There's a sunspot right there, but... Okay. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she alright? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Oh, chill. Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. Uh... Yeah, why the hell not? That much I can do. I was originally gonna go there first, right? It was just too far. Take this. Call it enticement. And this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? We'll talk about her, don't worry. But right now, you'll tell me about Siri, just like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. Time to play a Siri. Let's that do this. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Siri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? Um, I don't know the extent at which the name Kaer Morin is known or feared, or speculated. But I don't really care, I'm gonna tell him. At Kaer Morhen? Witcher school there, are you? But they only took lads, as I recall. Well, that implies that anybody can join if they're not a witcher, so... Why are you twitching? They made an exception for me. Right. Me to say you're a she-witcher. Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. <laughs> a woman could swing a sword. I've known one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager. Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself, I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. Ah, uh, shit. We all know I can't ride a horse. Well, let's see how this goes. <laughs> How's it going? The day dawns. Ready? As ever, first one to the tower. Man chop! I could probably just tell. I don't know. Okay. Come on, son. Oh, sir. God. Don't you embarrass us? Oh, God. Your sword is mine. Okay. That'll be the day. Okay. That's just nice and steady, right? I'm following the yellow path or the dotted line? Well, the yellow path. We'll, we'll just follow the yellow path. Oh my gosh, my stamina. My stamina. Was that it? Was that it? Oh, oh, that was nothing. You're wind, not woman. Never mind. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Oh shit. Another chance to win. Oh. Gotta fight another one of these. I'm down. Let's do this. Scream oh. like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even worried to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher. Seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh oh. I know that look. <laughs> You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Let's not play Gwent, because we'll be here all day, and then I'll lose. I already said this. Why do I... See you. Bye. Bye. So long. Fine, tomorrow. Tell the brain you've learned about Anna. I already... But I... Didn't I... Uh, whatever. Fine, we'll do it. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? This, which I thought I already told you, but apparently not. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why did you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Okay. We might as well know. It's gonna tell us anyway. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. Alright then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. Better make it good.
with Annie. It was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me. Something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Okay. Uh, Anne? Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so might as well kill her. How many times I apologised. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years, but we did. And as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. Okay, I don't know about the deserve each other thing. Um, you're at fault. Um, can't say I care all that much about this. Wow, that's rude. I could just be nice and say it seems like they deserve each I mean, in a way they do, in the whole, like, they're kind of both a little off the chart chain um but it's true i can't say i care all that much if anything i just you know hope your daughter's fine and yeah, both of you um but let's be nice that way um maybe he'll give me more shit you're right faults on both sides yours and hers oh i agree i'm content that you finally see that anyway very well then if you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. Oh, sweet, it all together? Uh, well, this is like the same thing. I might as well kill her if she's she with the crones. She made a pact with the crones, and, well, I think she might have lost her mind. 
A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Um... I really wouldn't recommend it, but I mean, I'll help. Do what you want. Do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones, just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return. She doesn't want to come back. Go with them myself, and we will pull her out. That's not good. I've warned you. What you do. That's your business. I... what about... do I just... I am so confused what I'm actually supposed to be doing here. Do I really need to go see the daughter? We're out of here. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. And then you'll probably stop again, and then I'll have to get his daughter, and then we'll have to do this whole now, thing again. what did I last? Okay, Basilisk. here we go. It had just attacked you. Yes. Do I get to fight it? All ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. Back to the flashback. Do I actually get to fight it? Right in front of us. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the forces. Oh, thanks. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we were! Oh, sh oh. It could teleport. Okay, can't lock on, because it's a boss. Where are you at? Where are you at? I don't have an arrow or anything. Ah, not so tough. Oh, shit. Come on. There you go. Uh, that's a zap. Uh, damn it. Uh. Ooh, damn that poison. Come on. I like how it only goes for me. The Baron's just chilling over there. Woo! There we go. Oh, ooh, ooh. Still poisoned. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Damn it! I can't leave him like that. No, we can't. What? Can you not climb up that? I just tried to jump over that. No. Is that a no-no? You can't. You can't. No. That's not the way to go. Oh. Okay. Let's not go that way then. Uh. Since you can't climb that, I'm assuming you can't climb these. But. You horse! Oh, now we can. Okay. You didn't even let me climb.
that's one way to do it. I'd stab it again just to be safe. There we go. Oh, okay. That's great. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me? I shall never forget it. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. And that is that. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Um, she, uh, we gotta go. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her. Bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Yeah. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. Yeah. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very okay. generous. <laughs> like, all right, you got me. I'm, see, I'll go already. I mean, I, I'd like to. Do I have to do it now? I don't know, but I'll say yes. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. If you're waiting there a while, don't be surprised. <laughs> Uh, what was that? You tell me, man or monster? My what? men call him Uma and say he's a beast, but he seems a man to me, just hideous as idle shit. What? Doesn't look like a monster to me. I mean, he's you know not normal compared to us, but it maybe he's normal for whatever he is. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. What? Funny story. How so? I went to Novigrad once to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Uh huh. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. 
Mm -hmm. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him, and Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Okay. Hilarious. Real side splitter. Oh, <laughs> you wouldn't know a good tail from a runny fart. Proper baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. Really? So? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in that bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No. But he doesn't look dangerous. Yeah, that's mm. what I was gonna say. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. Yeah. As long as you're not hurting the guy, then. Cool. And prove a good father to her. Right, so that was random. I'm hoping that gets brought up again. <laughs> you ready? Cool. Destination. Why is there a big red skull on it? That's sketchy. We got a bunch of new quests. Let's actually see what it's all about. Oh my lord! I we whoa. Find out if Siri is in Skelling in Novigrad. Well, no, no, no. Yeah, we're not going there. We're going to Novigrad. Visit Tristan her house. But level ten, we're level seven. Hot damn! So we never actually had to talk to um. The daughter which kind of bummed but at the same time we were already at the Baron so I was just gonna do everything I could definitely not going there um, Novigrad's probably our best bet but we could talk to the hunter named Neela series room oh oh huh. That might help. Find a way to get to the... Oh yeah, I didn't feel like doing that. Fix all the damaged shrines. Yeah, wherever those are. Well, shit, we're already here. And this should be right here, right? Yeah. I'm glad I saw that. Might as well check her room. What? It said you actually farted, but by all means, you totally made that with your mouth. That was not a real fart. So Siri was here. Yes. Yes, she was. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. And a book with glowing things. And take The it. Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Breedevoort. Where'd Siri get this? I can see her stash. She's got nothing. Oh, oh, what's this? No, not the. There you go. The spinning top. Gritka's toy. Oh, well, neat. Go to the kitchen and talk to Gretka. Oh shit, she's here. I forgot about that. All right, let's read the book real quick. And to the book. And here it is for those that want to read. Hmm. A dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. Yeah, protect yourself from curses, people. All right, let's go talk to Gretka. Might as well do everything while we're here, because we will not be coming back. What's so, up? So you're Gretka. I am, and you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. Damn. Um, what else did she say? You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. 
Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. <clears throat> uh, come again? Siri wanted to help a friend. Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Oh, maybe she's talking about the elf dude. Anyway, I found this toy. Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Sweet. Um, do you know where she is? Even though I kind of already asked you. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast, and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? <laughs> yes, I'm so, like, shocked. What? A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well. Don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Alright, well, thanks for the help. Thanks, Gritka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Ah, eh, shut up and just do what you're supposed to. Okay, cool. Alright, now that that's settled, easy XP. Pam, 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 oh. pam. Alrighty then.